Good snap, good hold. The kick is on the way. And the kick from Dawson is good! It's good! And the Longhorns have won the game! It's been, it's been great finally getting to move back to Austin, first of all. Uh, we lived in Cleveland for a number, number of years and just finally couldn't handle the winners anymore. So a uh, year and a half ago, moved back to Austin, set up shop. This is where we're going to be uh, when my playing days are over. I've been married to my wife, uh, Shannon, for 13 years. Uh, three children. I've got a fifth grade boy, a third grade boy, and then a kindergarten girl. Uh, we're a very close family. We spend a, a lot of time together. One of the things people don't realize about being in the NFL is uh, the seven months I'm at home, I'm at home. So that really affords us a great opportunity that a lot of dads don't get to truly just hang out and, and I'm taking them to school, picking them up from school. I'm at every sporting event or ballet recital or whatever the case may be. We go to church together. We do, we just are together as a family. And so we're a very close knit group. You know, way down deep inside, uh, I had belief that I could, I could perform at the NFL level. Had I admitted that publicly at the time, I think I would have gotten laughed out of Cleveland. I was an undrafted guy. No one really given a shot to make it. Had to fight and scratch for literally every opportunity. I've always had the mentality, if I'm gonna spend all this time and all this effort uh, trying to be a, a football player, I might as well try to be the best. One of, one of my favorite parts of every NFL week is pregame, going out on the field and meeting or seeing all the former Longhorns. It's fun to meet a younger Longhorn who I never played with yet we connect before a game and the, the bond we have is tangible. I know who he is, he knows who I am, and there's mutual respect there. We know where each other came from, and uh, those are some special things. And you know, guys from other schools in the league notice that about us. To walk out on that field once again, I think it was 1997, the last time I was actually in that stadium on game day. I haven't been able to come home for a home game. I've been to a couple bowl games, but to get to go back on that field on game day in front of the Longhorn Nation to share it with my family and friends and current teammate. This is the great joy of my football life. Um, to have worn the burnt orange, to have contributed in my own way to this university and to now be recognized for it, it doesn't get any better than that. Every time we sang the Eyes of Texas, and I heard at the time it was only 73,000, believe it or not, in the stadium, but and I'd hear all those people singing that song all at the same time. Uh, that was as good as it got for me. And uh, apart from that, probably my most special moment was being a captain my senior year, getting to lead my team out of the tunnel at Texas OU. I was a kid from Dallas, had grown up going to that game. You'd always heard about the tunnel, and how special that is to come out of that tunnel. And so to be a captain for the team, to literally lead the guys out on the field through that tunnel, that's something, uh, I've got a picture of it up in my office. That's something that I hold pretty dear to my heart. I I'm at a loss for words. Uh, the opportunity to simply be a Texas Longhorn was all I ever dreamed about being. So to now be recognized and placed in the Longhorn Hall of Honor, that that's so far beyond anything I ever hoped or dreamed for. For a kid growing up in Texas, I don't care what anybody else says, this is where you want to go. It doesn't get any better than the University of Texas. And not only do you represent the great university and the great traditions, but I would go as far as to say you represent the entire Lone Star State.